Hello and welcome to episode 78 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you a new feature that was quietly pushed out by Todoist this week. And I was led to believe that this was only available on the internet uh, version or the web version of Todoist. But it appears that it's actually sneaked into the, well, certainly the Mac desktop version too. And that is to be able to add labels or uh, to your tasks um, in a multiple format. Um, and I don't think I explained that exactly very well at all. So let me show you anyway. As you probably know, if you've been following this series, you know that you can actually select multiple tasks by holding down the shift key and then just clicking on the side. So I can click hold on to those. So I can select all of these four tasks in this multi in this project. Now I have up here, I can actually set a schedule for these, which is great. So I don't have to add individual dates, particularly if all these are going to be on the same day. I can move them to another project, which is fantastic, particularly if you're doing this from your inbox and you have you've been brainstorming a project, you can actually move them all to one project in one go. You can set the priority, i.e. the flag, to all these tasks. And now in more, you can actually add labels. Now, labels is a new feature that they've just added. So you can actually add a label to these, or indeed you can remove labels from these. So in this case, I can add a label. Let's say these are all research, so I can just click on research. And all my labels are added as research. Now, if I decide, no, 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 I don't really want to do that. Or you've got, <clears throat> like for example, in my routines folder, I could actually, um, so I can remove the search. So let me show you my routines folder. All my routines actually have the, entire, the label routines, as you can see here. So if I wanted to, I can click these and I could do a mass change of these labels. So this is a really hand, new feature that I really, really like. Now, originally, when I saw this on Todoist uh, News blog page or blogs, I saw that this was only available on the web, but I'm actually using the desktop version of Todoist, and this is working perfectly well here. So if I go to the web and show you uh, my mistake, I should have actually set this up. So if I go to the website version and show you uh, to do it on the web. Uh, I do apologize. This is not to it to do his fault today. My internet is running rather slowly. Oh dear, and it's asking me to log in. So uh, blah, 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 blah. just log into that. I haven't logged into the web version for a very long time. So there we go. We're now in. So if I do this from my demo project on the web, so let, again, you can shift click, 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 and go into more you've got the same add label and remove label. So originally when I saw this, this was actually available only on the um, web version, but it obviously has rolled out in the last few weeks through the function that I mentioned before, which is um, version 830. So um, <clears throat> that's obviously come in in the last few um, updates. So uh, fix label filter, use five plus to indicate there's more than five comments. Um, yeah, add or remove labels. So this actually came in the 3rd of October. So there are some things that come sometimes uh, to do is does these little things quietly. Um, but anyway, it's now come out into the desktop versions. And it's a really, really useful feature. If you're not using this feature, I don't know why uh, it's, a, it's a very, very handy feature. So you can click on um, multiple tasks like this. And you can sc schedule them, you can set a schedule for those. Um, you can move to a project uh, and you can and you can set the priority uh, anything you like pretty much there so this is a really really useful feature when you're particularly when you're processing an inbox and you've been doing a brainstorming session on a project then I find that this that feature is really really useful just to save a lot of time okay I know this is a short episode uh, I hope you did find it useful I certainly find that uh, functionality useful and please don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel if you want the latest uh, tips and tricks on using Todoist. And apart from that, I wish you all a very, very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.